Hey guys, it's Adam here with RC Logger, and once again, welcome back to my workbench. Today, I'm going to show you how to do the calibration procedure for your X3 gimbal. There is an initial manual calibration procedure that you need to follow, and then after that, every time you power your Nova, your gimbal is going to do a calibration on its own. So let's move into, first and foremost, how we do the manual procedure. As you see here, I have my unit all set up. I have a battery already installed. I'm going to go ahead and plug my battery in. I don't have my transmitter yet. I don't need it. I'm going to plug, I'm going to plug my gimbal in also. Okay, so my gimbal is going to do an uh, initialization process. It's going to recognize it. It may or may not recognize it. There's also a manual process that you need to do one time. I'm going to explain that now. First, I'm going to carefully remove the canopy. Yes, I am aware that the battery is plugged in. Just don't pull hard on the canopy. Otherwise, you're going to rip this small wire out. I have a small LED here. I'm going to hold the up. Right above the LED, there's a small button. I'm going to hold that button down for two seconds to enter a menu. The first menu is indicated red. That's the transmitter calibration menu. We don't need that. I'm going to press the button one time. The LED changes green. That's the gyro calibration menu. We don't need that either. The next menu is the compass calibration. We don't need that also. The final menu is the gimbal calibration. That's the one we're looking for. The LED is yellow. I'm going to double press the button to begin the gimbal calibration procedure. The blue light's flashing. I'm waiting to hear a beep. Okay, now I'm going to take my gimbal that's powered and I'm going to move it all the way to the extreme in one direction and hold it there. I'm going to let it go back to the middle again. And I'm going to move it to the other extreme and hold it there. And let it go. Now that that's complete, I'm going to press the small button again on the top, and my manual calibration process is done. At the time of this video, it's very possible the app, will, the iControl app, will also enable you to do this exact same process. If not, that's the manual way of doing it. When I come back, I'm going to grab my transmitter, and I'm going to explain to you how the automated calibration process works. This Nova X has firmware version 1.5 installed on it, and for any firmware version 1.5 or above, the gimbal calibration process will automatically occur when you power your Nova X. Just make sure that you follow the Nova X and X3 installation video in the description link below. I have mine completely set up, and I'm going to show you now what happens when you power your Nova X. For starters, we're going to power our transmitter. Then we're going to plug in our Nova and our gimbal. We can plug either one in. We'll plug the Nova in first. Plug the gimbal in second. The gimbal goes through its boot phase and you'll notice that the gimbal itself is tilting up and down. What's happening is that the Nova is taking a reading that the gimbal is attached and it's optimizing its flight performance capabilities now. Another thing you're going to notice is that the LED on my unit is yellow. That's because with the iControl app, I have gimbal lock mode selected or toggled on. And essentially, what that does is, no matter which position I move any of my bank or flight mode switches, it locks the Nova X in GPS flight mode with speed guided flying bank on. Speed guided flying is essentially the new aerial photography bank. And this is just kind of a safety feature, so if you accidentally bump a switch, your Nova doesn't go taking off when you're trying to record smooth aerial video. Um, this feature can, of course, be turned on or off via the iControl app. And I think that pretty much wraps it up, the explanation. So if you guys have any questions, you can find us at support at rclogger.com. Once again, my name's Adam. Thanks for watching.